Hi, this is Brandon Watson from Motto Training, and today what I'd like to take you through is the turnaround maneuver in an automatic vehicle. First thing I do is park on the side of the road. I've got the vehicle secure with the handbrake, and I'm in park. Next, I do a sweep around the vehicle to make sure that it's all clear. So that includes mirrors, rear view mirror, upper head, and my shoulder checks as well. Um, notice that when I'm looking, I'm also leaning forward to make sure that the pillar A, B, or C don't get in my way, so I get full range of vision. Okay, next thing, now I know that it's all clear, I put my right indicator on. I'm still scanning while I'm doing that. I select drive. I've got my left hand on the handbrake. I've got my right hand on the steering wheel. I'm still scanning and monitoring the road environment. I release the handbrake. My foot is still on the brake. I just gent gently release my foot off the brake. I don't need any accelerator where I am. Little shoulder check to the right to still make sure I'm clear. And this technique, I'm going full lock to the right and stopping. I'll uh, make a video of the other technique where you count to steer back to the left before you get to the side, but this is, this is acceptable in a QSafe driving test. While I'm still scanning, both ways clear, look over the shoulder, make sure it's all clear. As I get to about halfway across the road, I scan both ways, then I go back over the shoulder again. I'm on full lock to the left, and little check over my shoulder, and stop. Now I'm still scanning, drop it into drive, still scanning. I don't need to indicate another, uh, like a second time. I can just move away from my driving position as I'm showing you at the moment. And again, I haven't actually used any accelerator in this particular situation. The vehicle's able to pull away, no dramas at all, and then I'd power off up the road. I'll just pull over to the side of the road on the left here. So with the turnaround maneuver, a couple of really important things. One is, keep your eyes on the move. So you're constantly scanning up and down the road. Just as we're speaking, there's a few vehicles coming past. So I'm monitoring those vehicles constantly. That includes mirrors, shoulder checks, lean and look as well. Um, the second thing is when I'm doing the maneuver, I'm just taking it nice and slow. Don't go too quickly. If you go too quickly, particularly when we're talking learner drivers, that means that all their responses and actions have to happen quickly as well. So nice and steady on the speed. What does go quickly is the movement of the steering wheel. So when I, when I go around, whether it be the pull push steering or the hand over hand steering, get the steering wheel moving so that you move the body of the vehicle around to the position that you want it to be in. Secondly, uh, don't touch the curbs. If you drive into the curb, that'll be a critical driving error and that will be game over and you'll, they'll be taking you back to the transport department. Um, I hope that's, uh, that's given you some outline of, of the expectations of the turnaround maneuver in an automatic vehicle. I'll make a second video as well where we'll do the counter steer just before we get to the other side of the curb as well. So you can teach either technique um, that suits you or you can see what your learner's natural tendency is to go towards and then you can work towards that. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them on the Watto Training YouTube page.